right, tonight we're going to be making some simple uh, beef chili. Uh, so what we need for this is one onion diced. Uh, in the pan here, we're heating up a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. We need a pound of ground beef, a jar of spaghetti sauce. I have some black beans, some red beans, tomato paste, and chili seasoning. We're going to get these uh, onions sautéed and ground the beef, and as soon as that's done, we'll be back. You want to make sure you break all these bigger pieces up as it's cooking. Alright, next thing we want to do is run it under warm water and get all of that fat out. Now this is 80 cent lean ground beef, so there really shouldn't be too much oil in there, or too much fat in there, but you want to rinse it off under warm water. Uh, if you use cold water, the fat's just going to congeal and uh, just not run off. So uh, you want to run your hand through it, or a spoon or anything, I think your hand's the best. And what you want to be able to do is you can still feel that grease on there. Uh, you want to keep rinsing it off until you can snap your fingers. Once you can snap your fingers, uh, that means that the fat is all rinsed off and you're good to go. Alright, so we put the ground beef back in the pan, putting the onions back. I need two hands to do this. And then we're going to add the tomato. Right, so we got all the onions in there. We got the tomato paste. I got it on medium high heat. And we're just going to kind of cook that paste out a little bit. Uh, deglaze the pan. All these pieces from the meat and from the onions that are on, left on there. We want to pull all those up. Uh, and that's all going to add flavor to it. So we're going to cook this for a little bit. Alright, so we cooked down the tomato paste. And we're going to add the jar of sauce. And then what I do is I have a little bit of water here. Put it in there, shake it up, and get all of that, that sauce out. So I'm going to do that. Alright, okay. so we got the sauce in there. Uh, I moved it down to low, and we're just going to let this simmer. Uh, and at this point, uh, I'm going to add a, about a cup of water. And you can use beef broth or chicken broth if you want, but I don't have any of that. So I'm just going to use some water uh, with the all seasoning. Right, I ended up using about a cup and a half of water and I'm uh, just going to let this simmer now. I'm let it simmer for a little while, let all those flavors come together uh, and then when we come back we'll add those beans and uh, then that'll be it. Add those beans, let it cook. I'll give it a little taste test and if everything's good we'll go ahead and dehydrate it. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, so we are uh, going to add the beans. In this case, we got a can of black beans and a can of red kidney beans. Uh, you can add as many as you want if you want to add any other types of beans. Absolutely, that's, uh, that's your choice. I usually like more beans than this. I'm going to see if I have another uh, can in the, in the closet. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to let this simmer, let everything come together, and uh, once that's all done, we'll put it on the dehydrator and dehydrate it overnight. I'm going to see if i got another can of beans. Now, you don't have to drain these also. That's the other thing, too. You could leave all the liquid in there. I let some of the liquid out, uh, but that'll help thicken everything up as well. All right, so it cooled off a bit. I put it in the dehydrator on the fruit roll-up trays. I got uh, two full trays here. I leave one empty on the bottom uh, and then I have this one filled up this one filled up I'm going to put another tray on top and then we'll plug it in actually before I go to bed I'm just going to plug it in let it go overnight uh, into the morning and uh, and then that should be it I'll uh, we'll take a look in the morning all right so this has been 
drying for well over 12 hours. Uh, see, it's nice and dehydrated. Uh, what we're going to do at this point is let it cool off and then we'll get it all packaged up. All right, so we got everything out of the dehydrator and we were able to fill up uh, about one and if this was all mushed up, about one and a quarter mason jars. I'm just going to use the food saver on this, suck all the air out, and then we'll be able to store it. So, that's all we got. This is the dehydrated beef chili. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.